Hello everybody and welcome to part 9 of creating custom content management systems using PHP and MySQL. What we're doing is showing how to build the foundations or just the bare bones of a system like Joomla or WordPress but from scratch so you can have ultimate control over layout and site design. Okay so in this last part of the series we're going to show you how you can get yourself a free JavaScript what you see is what you get editor so let's go into the admin section let's just look at it create new page so the goal here is to remove this regular form text area here this big area this text area input and we want to replace it with a JavaScript based what you see is what you get editor for editing HTML and formatting things on the page and some even allow image upload so the images can be uploaded to the server and then used on the page by somebody who doesn't know HTML and it puts all those cool buttons up top and everything so that's the goal here and let's show you some that I know that are pretty cool and that are available free and there's like 20 good ones out there that work decent but I'll just show you these four because I like them uh, open WYSIWYG that's at openwebware.com and you'll see it's a free cross browser what you see is what you get editor and it gives you all those cool features that you see on a lot of uh, HTML editing programs where people don't know HTML but they can yet style a page out and what you see, what they say is it's a free cross browser what you see is what you get editor packed with every rich text editing feature you need to make your content management system that much better see it's targeted for this it's, it's setup is easy you can quickly turn any text area which is this this is a text area you're gonna turn this into this and it's easy see setting up open WYSIWYG is so easy even a baby can do it you can turn any text area into a powerful WYSIWYG editor with just a few simple lines of code So don't tell me you're having problems implementing your WYSIWYG editor little kids do this old ladies do this okay with no problems every day and we also have widget editor which is on the Google code network here and uh, that one's very lightweight it says it is designed to be simple to use have a small code footprint and produce valid semantic code so there you go you want something lightweight small and fast you might want to try widget editor and that's at google code or it's at code.google.com p widget editor and you can I'll zoom in on those URLs then we have text area rich I'll zoom in on that URL as well. That's textarearich.com. And this one is Text Area Rich is a fully functional free replacement for your existing text area HTML tag. It's also targeting exactly what we want to make our, our content management system a little more powerful and intuitive. And then we have TinyMCE, which is at tinymce.moxico.com. I'll zoom in on that URL as well and that one is a platform independent web-based JavaScript HTML WYSIWYG editor control released as open source under the LGPL and it has the ability to convert HTML text area fields like we want or other HTML elements to editor instances it's very easy to integrate into other content management systems Okie dokie, so that's the four that I recommend. Okay, let's just discuss a couple of more things. So what's going to happen is when you replace that and the person does all their fancy editing and formatting they want and they press submit, it's going to go into the MySQL database just like it does currently, but now it's going to have a lot of HTML tags and formatting attached to it to where when it renders out on, on the front end of the site, it's going to be a lot a lot better put a lot more of the page control into the client's hand and uh, in the script let's see which one is that let's just go to this edit page edit page.php 
So say when they're editing an existing page, your WYSIWYG would be right there. And it would replace this text area. See how easy that is? You would throw a little bit of JavaScript in the head probably. A little bit of JavaScript right here to render out the, the WYSIWYG text editor. And then on your server, you go and upload the files for the WYSIWYG. It's usually just a directory full of pictures, scripts, CSS and a few other things. You just upload the whole directory intact to your server and just refer to it just like they show you in the examples. Each one of these editors has example pages. So it's so it's foolproof, okay? I don't really even have to go through it and show you how easy it is. I'm not going to take the time to do that because it is so easy. So this would be replaced by the text area. The WYSIWYG text areas. Okay, so we hope you enjoyed this lesson series on creating uh, custom content management systems so you can have a little bit of more insight into how things like this are built or really expand a basic system like this to have your own integration methods if you want to go into flash you can integrate into flash you can integrate into several different technologies rather than just relying on uh, CSS with the PHP or the HTML formatting with uh, PHP and MySQL. XML can be involved, Flash and ActionScript can be involved, Flex can be involved, Flex and ActionScript 3 can be involved, anything you want, all kind of technologies. Okay, so we'll see you next lesson.